Hey there, this is Josh and welcome to Reply. Reply is a sales engagement platform that automates communications across multiple channels like personal emails, follow-ups, LinkedIn outreach, calls, tasks, SMS, and social touches, while a sales team can actually focus on what matters, closing the deals. Getting started with Reply is pretty easy. First, you need to connect your business email account so you can send and receive messages. Now, let's create your first sequence. The sequence steps represent the flow in which your messages will be sent to the prospects, from the initial contact to all subsequent follow-ups. To do that, click on the New Sequence button. For this video guide, we'll create a sequence from scratch. From here, the Sequence Wizard will guide you through five steps that you need to complete in order to launch a new sequence. Start by clicking the Add Sequence Steps button and choose from the available options, such as Manual or Automatic Email, Call, Manual or Automatic SMS, WhatsApp, LinkedIn Messages, Connect Request, InMail, or View Profile. With Zapier Steps, you can specify the next action for the prospects in a sequence. For example, enriching a prospect with additional data from a third-party provider, start showing ads on LinkedIn, or something along those lines. We'll cover more use cases of a Zapier step in the next few videos. And finally, a task step for meetings and to-do tasks. So, let's start with an automated email step. In the Email Composer, you can either use a public template or create a new email from scratch. Try Reply's variables to create super personalized emails, and you can insert images, attachments, videos from Vidyard, and preview an email here to see what a prospect will receive. Add several email variants for A-B testing to see which template gets better open or reply rates. When you add call, WhatsApp, manual SMS, or one of the LinkedIn steps to a sequence, Reply will create a corresponding task for every contact in a sequence once the contacts are moved to that step. Then, creating a schedule. Proceed with the add people step and choose from the three options. Import contacts from a CSV file, add existing contacts, or create a contact manually. After that, review settings and launch the sequence. In the video, How to Create a Multi-Channel Sequence, we examine each wizard's steps in more detail. Reply's email search and outreach extension is a robust tool allowing you to search for prospects' emails on LinkedIn and Sales Navigator and move them to Reply. With the extension, email search on LinkedIn has never been so easy. All you need to do is filter contacts on LinkedIn according to the required criteria, and the extension automatically pulls the list of contacts and starts searching emails right away. Now, select a list to add these contacts to and save in your Reply account. You can download the list as a CSV file from Reply or move contacts to a sequence and start outreaching to them right away. Also, the extension allows instant syncing of contacts and leads from CRMs like Salesforce, HubSpot, and Copper to Reply and pushing them to a sequence. Save contacts from Gmail, reach out to leads on LinkedIn with semi-automated tasks, make calls, and get all communication history with a contact in one location. There are three ways to integrate Reply with your current tool stack. One, native integrations with five CRMs, Salesforce, Close.io, Pipedrive, Zendesk and Copper CRM. Two, integrations via Zapier to connect Reply to over 2,000 tools there, and three, Integrations via Reply's API that covers over 40 integration methods. The stats page lets you monitor the overall performance of your sequences by certain metrics. You can check it out on the stats tab of any sequence. This tab includes filters, where you can select dates to analyze performance for a particular period of time, key metrics and graphs that reflect the sequence's performance for each prospect, the total number of people contacted, opened, replied, etc., regardless of the number of emails sent to each prospect. And a detailed views section, where you see the sequence statistics based on steps like open and reply rates, responses, marked interested, and performance of every email variant in your A-B tests. Now, let's configure your reply account. For this, go to the settings page. On the account tab, you can edit your personal info, including full name, company, phone number, password, and even add a picture that will be visible to your team members. On the Plans and Billings tab, you can manage, upgrade, or downgrade your plan to see your subscription limits, including the number of unique contacts that you have already contacted. You can also pay for calls here. 
On the Emails tab, you can access and manage your email settings, including email safety, email notifications, inbox, and time zones. If you navigate to the Email Accounts tab, you can manage your email accounts connected within Reply. The Schedules tab allows you to create and manage schedules for sending emails within your sequences. The API Key tab contains the API key for your Reply account. The Branded Links tab is where you can enable click tracking and use an opt-out link in your emails. Setting up custom tracking URLs allows you to replace Reply's default domains with your own domain. And finally, on the Beta tab, you can enable access to the latest Reply features. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via support at reply.io, and thank you very much.